Hi everybody, this is Ernesto from Femit.com. I want to talk a little bit about self-care. You know, when you think about self-care, you think a lot about activities for the body uh, to be a little bit more active so you can become physically healthy, you know, or um, spending a weekend so that your mind can be uh, released of all these toxins and you feel a little bit more relaxed. What I'm talking about in the area of self-care is cutting out the people in your life who consistently feeds you toxic advice, that consistently feeds you toxic information that is detrimental to your self-esteem and self-worth. Earlier today, I had a conversation with another colleague who has a difficult time getting in front of a camera, and she talked about how horrible it is for her to get in front of a camera because she consistently hears uh, people in her life who are very critical and who nitpicks everything about her. We're already critical of ourselves. And we, if we have that one person or a handful of people around us who are consistently nitpicking and talking about us in a very demeaning and disrespectful way, it doesn't go well with your self-care. So here's another uh, twist to self-care. I highly endorse um, uh, going on the weekends and really taking care of yourself, um, really focusing on the things about yourself that you need to work on, and uh, 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 becoming less stressed by uh, exercising, eating right, all of that stuff. But self-care is also trying your best to put boundaries on those people who are very toxic uh, in your life that will affect you psychologically, emotionally, and even physically. And if you are able to uh, go a little bit further besides putting boundaries, if they are very much detrimental to your psychological well-being, those people, those toxic people, cut them out. You do not need people who will tell you that you're too fat, you're too ugly, nitpick all of these other things about yourself that you're already struggling with. You cannot get to a point in your mind that is acceptable to you and accepting of you when you have this voice, this person in your life that is consistently demeaning and degrading you. So a piece of advice here, um, self-care. Self-care to me means cutting off any type of toxic relationships in your life that prevents you from moving towards being, uh, from becoming good, great to awesome. So again, this is Ernesto. Have a good day and own your awesomeness. Bye-bye.